one is the vibe. Okay, this is what I'm gonna be grabbing for tomorrow. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Run. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Beauty Forever Hair. They sent me another unit to try out for you guys. Now before we get into this glueless, easy breezy install that you must see for yourself, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. So like I said, this unit comes to us from Beauty Forever Hair. All the specs for my unit are right here on the screen, so if you wanna check it out, you can. This is gonna be another easy one because I got some things to do today. And I wanna show you guys my whole look, you know, kinda pulled together. So I need to um, first tip my lace on this wig. This is another pre-cut joint, but this is a kinky curly one. So I'm kinda excited about this one because I know how I feel about my texture. I'm using my Mocha 360 powder around my lace because the lace is ashy on me. It's not too ashy, it has like a tannish tint to it. Even though it's not a lot of lace, I still need to blend it down around my forehead. So I don't have no, you know, no peekaboo action when I'm stepping outside. Because if you didn't know, lace is not skin. Who knew? It is a fabric, so you will see it regardless, but the type of lace will depend on how much you see it, okay? Stay with me. It does come with the elastic band and the silicone nape grip in the back, which I love. When I initially tried her on, she was a little snug. It does feel a little snug with the elastic band on, but let me sit for a moment. If your head is 23 inches or below, you should be good to go. If you're bigger than that, then, I mean, you don't gotta put her back, but <laughs> careful. <laughs> I wanna try to get this hair as big as possible. It's only 150% density, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna do a lot of fluffing. Let me go ahead and clip this hairline back, get this situated. As far as the hairline is concerned, it comes with a little plucking. So the cute little starter pack is there. I'm not gonna pluck my hairline, I'm gonna do a little swishy swish, and I'm gonna go on about my business. I'm gonna use my Nairobi mousse around my hairline. Two pumps, work it back, cause I want my hairline to sit back up off my head. Swirl those down. Using a mousse does not make it stick to your head, but it does help mold the hairline. So I don't have to go back in every time I wear this wig to remold the hairline. It's already molded thanks to the mousse. Ooh, this is wet. Ugh, where my claw clip? Ooh, I got water dripping all on me. Wrap it down like that. All right, so that took about a minute. So I like that, mm-hmm. For my kinky curly wigs, I have been using my Dark and Lovely Curl Glaze, and I love this product, but it can get a little heavy, and I don't really want that look for this look. I want a more fluffy look, so I'ma use my natural Roby Mousse on these curls today. If you wanna see what it looks like when I use my curl glaze, I will put that video down below so you guys can check out that video um, on a kinky curly texture. Now I did go ahead and wash the unit with my wig shampoo and it took me a good little minute to get that smell out because it was, it was pretty funky. So I know I did, ah, dang it. That's why I be running through my mousse. Half of it be on my daggone clothes. All right, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it was, uh, the wig was funky. So, um, <laughs> So I did have to wash the wig a couple times in order to get the uh, to get the smell out. And it still wasn't really coming out the way I wanted it to. So I did add a little bit of dry shampoo to that and it helped mask that smell. All right, put the mousse all over. Well, this is coming together pretty quickly. If this brush is still sold out, I do have a dupe in my Amazon store. So you can check that out for yourself. And yes, I do consider Beauty Forever Hair to be a fast fashion brand. They don't do any extras. They give you the hair and the lace. They don't do heavy plucking. They don't do bleaching of the knots. They pretty much give you the template of a wig and then you do the rest. It's no shade to none of the brands when I say that. I say that all the time, but I just wanna make sure y'all are clear. All right, I'm getting some shedding when I do the um, the finger coils, which is expected because it is a texture wig and it is curly. So most times you will get um, shedding and tangling on your curly wigs. Make sure this back is clump. All right, scrunch that side up. Hold on, this one's a little, you don't want to curl up, I see. Let's just cut it off. There you go. Uh -oh, getting some snags right there. That's only because the hair was drying down. It does have layers in this wig, so I feel like it's gonna fluff out Pretty cute. What time is it? I'm cutting it real close, child. Ooh, real close. Do the finger coils on this side. The curls in the back are kinda, they don't wanna act right. They kinda, they look kinda crooked. Like, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Let me make sure this part right here is covered down, cause I could definitely see those tracks when I initially put the wig on. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup, diffuse the hair, and then we will come back and fluff it so I can get up out of here. The 
hair is still a little damp, but we're gonna dry that down in just a second. So I'm gonna use my pick. I'm gonna pick at the root, kind of fluff the hair up a little bit before I dry her down a little bit more. Now the texture for this wig, like I said, is kinky curly, but it's not super thick. So if you want a more natural density that still gives a full look, this one is definitely for you. Let me go under, fluff that down. Keep on fluffing the hair, under. I'll take my blow dryer on high and cool to dry down the rest of the hair. Okay, fluff it up. Let me take off the elastic band. Perfect! Use my foundation to blend that lace in. I'm gonna use a little bit of my contour. A little slippage, may need to move that up a little bit. That lace right there is blending in with my hairline. This is my hairline, as you can see. This is the wig. The lace stops right here. Now if you've been following me, you know that my Beauty Forever wig um, that I did a couple months ago is one of my favorite wigs on my channel. Like I wore that joint out so much so that I can't wear it anymore until I wash it again. <laughs> But that wig comes with a uh, 13 by four lace, so it's lace all the way around the hairline. But with this one, I don't gotta worry about no lace around my ears, so I likes that. I don't think I need to do any powder in my parting space. The hair around here is a little bit too straight for me, but I'ma try to frizz it up a little bit so it doesn't look so perfect around my part. Hold up, let me just take the hair and like pull it down like that. I'm just pretty much doing anything at this point. <laughs> but this looks good. Beauty Forever came through and got your girl together. I have found my new everyday wig. Y'all know I go through my curly joints like this. Cause with these curly joints, I can wear it with or without makeup and feel just fine. And these are not kinky edges. This is just the hairline for the wig. So if you don't like kinky edges, but you like that natural wispy looking hairline, this is for you. Then use my makeup to blend my lace in. If your lace is a little bit too ashy, go ahead and use your contour or any dark color to color correct your lace. When I step outside, I will probably see my lace, but the way it's blended under these lights, Lights, it's not gonna be too much. And the wig is still glueless, y'all. Still glueless around my hairline. This looks, ooh, that could be a pinup. Wait a minute, cause my edges match the lace. Hello, if you watched this video, you saw exactly what I did to my wig. Please, please do not take the wig out the pack, put it on your head, then tell me my wig don't look like yours. My curls are trash. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Because I'm gonna have questions that need answers. Quickly, you will need to define, diffuse, and fluff your wig. Sometimes over and over. Get your wigs together based on how you want them to look on you. I can't help how I look in my wig just for me. Okay, it's not just the hair, it's the whole look. So if you like this wig, make sure you hop on it now. Now I know y'all gonna ask me which one? Which one is better? Which one do you like? Which one do you, listen. <laughs> They all come from the same place. <laughs> it just may look a little different depending on the lace and the curl texture that you try. This curl texture right here is one of my favorite curl textures to try because it has texture in it. So I will always grab this one first and then the other one second. If I want a different look, then I will wear those wigs. But today, this one is the vibe. Okay, this is what I'm gonna be grabbing for tomorrow. Mm. Listen, Ken Ken, I'm on the way. Lunch may turn into something different, okay? <laughs> I am grown. But that's all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to Beauty Forever Hair for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and any coupon codes I have for this unit down below. So if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.